Now, the board of the Public Investment Corporation, the PIC, has assured the more than 230,000 government employees that their pension monies are safe. Non-executive PIC directors joined CEO Dan Machila and the Treasury leadership to allay fears that the corporation is being raided to fund state-owned enterprises. This follows weekend reports in which Machila was quoted as saying that he's being targeted by those who want the keys to the PIC safe. A show of unity this afternoon. PIC CEO Dan Machila, the group's board, and Finance Minister Malusi Gigaba with his deputy and DG. All with assurances following weekend reports that a hundred billion rand is being sought from the body, holding almost two trillion rand in mostly pension money. We want to assure our clients right now the GEPF, the UIF, the Compensation uh, 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 Commissioner, the Commission that we have every intention to protect their funds. We have every intention to make wise investment decisions. But where does that leave PIC CEO Dan Machilla, who told a weekend newspaper that he is being targeted by those wanting to get their hands on the PIC safe? The article that appeared in the Sunday Times is uh, distasteful, distasteful, inaccurate, and I think it's designed to drive the wedge between myself and the minister. Machila refused to get into detail about which part of the report was untrue, saying he will release a statement tomorrow after engaging with the Business Times. The finance minister and his deputy refuted claims that the PIC is being targeted and risks being raided as part of a state capture effort. I personally have not attempted in any possible way to get myself involved in the businesses in the business of the PIC except through formal regulated channels which are available between us. Gigaba insists that the PIC has criteria to choose its investments, saying that it will never be tapped into for unscrupulous reasons. Devon Murrigan, SABC News, Pretoria.